Hey everyone, it is Sunday, February 12th. The time is just before 12.30 p.m. and the temperature right now is a rather nice three degrees Celsius. And I know three degrees sounds a little on the cool side, but it's actually rather pleasant right now. And I'm here in where else but Dundas Square. And there's a look to the intersection of Young and Dundas. And just across the street is the Eaton Center. And for this one, I'm going to make my way over to Nathan Phillips Square, where this afternoon the Toronto Maple Leafs are holding an outdoor practice. So we'll go see what the scene is like there. And that's an event that they hold every year, but they canceled throughout the pandemic. And just not to get your hopes up, but I am not anticipating getting close enough to really see anything. But I think it'll be neat just to go see what the crowd is like. So this is south down the east side of Young Street. And I was thinking of cutting through the Eaton Center and taking Albert Street over to Nathan Phillips Square, which is where you'll find New City Hall and the Toronto sign. But it's such a nice day, maybe I'll just stay south here and take Queen over. And a look north up Young Street. So this is a two-day event I'm heading to, and yesterday it kicked off in the morning. And this event has featured some Leafs alumni signing autographs. And there was an open skate where some fans could take the ice. And this morning there was a professional women's hockey skills competition. And from noon to one, which would be going on now, the Leafs are holding a three-on-three -three practice, which will include a lot of their top players. And they also played last night's game on a big screen at Nathan Phillips Square. So that would have been neat to see. And this here is Shooter Street. I'm kind of walking directly into the sun here. I think the lighting will be a little bit better if I cross over to the west side of Young. There's an entrance to the mall and I could cut straight through there.
There's the Elgin and Winter Garden Theater. And a look up at the Massey Tower. So I will head west along Queen Street West here. And of course tonight, I think around 5.30 p.m., the Super Bowl will be airing. I will certainly be watching. He's got a camera with a shotgun mic attached. There's a lot of people in Leafs jerseys making their way over. I'm just guessing it's going to be so busy. It won't really be a clear shot of the action, but we'll see. And that is Old City Hall on the right. And this is Bay Street. Have a look into the financial district. And even though I was born in the Toronto area and grew up here. I've never really been a huge Leafs fan. I could only probably name six or seven players on the team even. I imagine those are the buses that transported the team here. Sounds like a player is being interviewed right now. And it is really unfortunate they haven't opened this walkway up here. Once again, make some noise for your captain, John Tavares! was Jonathan Tavares being interviewed. And I have a feeling that this is where all the players walk through. Well, this 
was supposed to go till one. I always say the number one fan base in not just the NHL but in all of sport is Leafs Nation, and this is an exact reason why. Oh, I think that's a bold face untruth. <laughs> Coming down the stretch. Once again, thank you for coming. I'm gonna turn my camera into tilt mode here. So you can see everything okay? Let's take a walk around the rink here. This grandstand, obviously. people up there have the real view. So I'm going to circle around this way. It seems like they might be done the on-ice festivities. I don't really think I would have got much of a view coming so late anyways. You know what? We can maybe squeeze in here. No, it's all right. This is reserved. So, uh, it's not like it's already overcrowded. So. <laughs> There's so much room. I know. They are, <laughs> it's not know. overcrowded. Yeah. Those, those I under I understand, but come up with a better excuse next time. <laughs> yes, that is <laughs> very overcrowded. <laughs> I appreciate that he's doing his job and trying to keep people away, but... Oh well, it is what it is. I tried. And I think the players are going to be walking through here. This area now. It's also a good chance I picked up a YouTube <laughs> content ID match with that music point. All right, where to? Thank you. 
ice driving. Why yield to pedestrians when you can just go? All right, so maybe what I'll do is I'll make my way down towards Union Station or so. I was recording a video yesterday where I went in that direction through the entertainment district. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Let's head north here. I'm just making it up as I go anyways. So this is Bay Street. I'm currently walking north up. And here is Albert Street. So the original plan was to cut through the Eaton Center. to Nathan Phillips Square over there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll head up towards St. Patrick Station. Just taking some more of this nice weather. All right, let's cross here.
why I could turn right here and go full circle back to Dundas Square where I started. off in that direction. This is west on the south side of Dundas Street West. That streetcar will be going all the way to Broadview Station. Last time I tried to go this way and up those steps, we got to Nathan Pope Square where you'd get a pretty good view of the action. That area was all closed off, and I'm assuming it's still closed off now. In fact, I think I see some barriers in place preventing that. The Kyoto House, all you can eat Japanese restaurant. car just decided to reverse, got to be careful. So I could keep going straight here and that'll eventually take me through Chinatown. as I walk through an area where the old Chinatown was. Fried bun. It is around lunchtime. They're just preserving the facade of what I believe is the old McLean's publishing building. And that building across the street had a new facade put on it, so kind of the opposite. And they built that extension. You can see where the old building was and the new one extending out of it.
So we're at St. Patrick. I'm here a little earlier than I thought I might be. There's kind of a classic view of the tower off in the distance. this one in a moment and figure out a plan. I'm still not quite hundred percent. I was thinking of maybe doing a live stream this afternoon if I was up to it. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I'm up to it. So I apologize if this one is again a little bit on the short side. That's okay. It's February. It's a shorter month. I know that logic doesn't make any sense. But I hope you enjoyed this one starting at Dundas Square. Walking south on Young to Queen, then over to Nathan Phillips Square to kind of get a peek of the Leafs outdoor practice. And then north up Bay to Dundas, west through Little Tokyo. Finishing up here at Dundas and University. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you went to the Leafs practice and you actually got to see it, let me know what that was like. I'd be curious to find out. I do read each and every comment. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides and a TikTok account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below these videos if you wish to say thanks that way. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Yoink.